and welcome to the Generational Gamer. Today we are going to talk about Limited Run in all its limited goodness with Nick. <laughs> and how are you doing today, sir? Oh, I'm wonderful. Yourself? I'm doing fantastic. So let's move on to the game. So correct me if I'm wrong, but you bought two of these damn things, right? I did. I Why? bought... We'll get into that in a second. I bought the PS4 version and the Switch version. So, my thought process when I was purchasing the PS4 version, I The PS4 I would... version looks exactly like my Switch version. It, isn't it crazy? All it has is this <laughs> nice special cover. Anyway, so you you were saying before I interrupted. <laughs> so since I purchased this way back in May, at some point I thought throughout this summer I was getting a PS4. And lo and behold, no, I have not. I have diverted my funds into other things and other systems and games. Yes, uh, I'm not, uh, not saying that I'm not getting a PS4, but at this point I just purchased it. I'm just going to hold on to it. Obviously, everyone can tell. I didn't even open it. Yeah. So my first shipment was the PS4 version. And my first thoughts were, that I know I saw your video. You weren't really thrilled on how big the box was. And I kind of understood just because of the what was the content that's in the in the box. Well, that's you know, I'm sure somebody is going to say he's jealous of the size of the box. But I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm, I'm done being so, an idiot. <laughs> I, I mean, it was it was it was really nifty to look at. You know, I got you your video and we watched it. You know, you get the you get the cards. Yeah, the size of the boxes. It's Someone's the a little jealous counts, of the video. You use it. I don't have box envy. I swear. No, it doesn't right. seem like it at all. <laughs> But I know, I know, I know that you had a little bit of gripes with with the size of the box. But we all know that we have to keep in mind what's inside. I got oh, yeah. that. Oh yeah. So I. So and I just let everyone know that these orders were one day apart from me ordering the PS version and the Switch version. I received both about a week apart, which isn't that bad. I have no gripes with that. I know things are going on with all around the world. Yes. But I expected a, just a small little difference in, in the content that I received. So I, I know it's limited run, so I expected that maybe limited run would add different playing cards. I know that you have Torok. I saw your video, and they give you a card. You know, and, Actually, and I, got I was two. like, cool, cool, I get a card. So I wonder what the Switch is going to come with. Nada. Same card. <laughs> I was hoping for something to set itself apart, but obviously not. Uh, for me, I'm not knocking Limited Run. I think it's pretty cool what they do. Um, I just don't think it's for me personally. Yeah. I, I heard you talk about it. Maybe if it's something specialty-wise that I really, yeah. really want, and they're the only ones truly mass-producing something, I definitely would take another look. But at this point, I, I'm not saying I wasted my money. I... I'm happy with what I purchased. Just doesn't seem like it's the right way for me to go the next time. And I'm I'm kind of in line with you. I mean, the size of the box doesn't bother me too much. The problem with it is that it said Genesis style, which is and I know it's stupid, but I just wanted them to sit on the shelf all nice, you know. I think maybe there was a miss understanding of what I was purchasing. I thought I was doing what you were doing was purchasing yeah. that size box, not the bigger box, but still we have to keep in mind what's what's inside this box. And what, I, you I know kinda, what? What's I kinda in, understood. What's inside the box of so the CD would obviously take up the largest size. So I'm assuming the PlayStation right. actually does take up uh, quite a bit of this because it's a five inch disc. So yeah. I mean, that's going to be most of the thing. And then I actually have mine in here right now because I've already I've already listened to it and put it on my iPad and iPhone. But I already I, I have my CD in here. 
and then it two. has the two switch cases. It has the two switch cases in there. And yeah. we use one's metal, and then one is the plastic that every other Switch game comes in. So the Switch probably could have been smaller, but then they would have been in a, in a unique situation where people were bitching because the case was too small in comparison yeah. to all the others. So it was really a no-win situation in my mind. My, my bigger issue is that I could have gotten the game. It didn't... The one thing I wanted the uh, nice packaging for it's not doing because although it does fit on my shelf nicely, it would be better suited to be propped up like so than to be put on the bookshelf with the jet like a Genesis game. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good game holder. You have a bunch of games falling over, you just shove it to the side. And let exactly. It sit there. I kind of once I saw that, I was like, okay, this is what it's about. That that's perfectly fine. Uh, like I said, it makes sense once you get it in your hands. So. Not knocking them, just doesn't. At this point in time, I just don't think it's for me. I would have probably, had I known what I know now, I would have just gotten the Amazon or Best Buy version. Yeah, and you could have spent forty, fifty dollars less. Yep, and that's. I would have been perfectly happy with that because, I mean, truthfully, I don't even know why I. I already had the game digitally. This is just a special game, given that it came back 30 years after the original, you know? The, or yes, the last yeah. one, the three. The three, which was absolutely butchered in the U.S. But if you have the Genesis game on the Switch or the PlayStation or pretty much any of the modern consoles, you can play the Japanese bare knuckle, and it's so much better. So, well, in, in the other circumstance, too, you have to think, if you bought it from... Amazon or Best Buy, you weren't going to get that cool booklet in, that is inside, and I that kind of like seeing. I did like seeing that. I do miss that. I guess that's because that's the old retro in me. I, I miss seeing booklets. Okay, do you buy? It's many just weird opening up complete? games and not having a booklet. I know. Do you buy many games that are complete, or do you not even care? Depends on the price. So yeah. you know, I have collected <laughs> a couple that are pretty pricey. Yeah. And at that point, it may be cheaper to buy it separate than mm -hmm. it is to buy it complete at the point. Uh, there's a couple games that have shot up if you've kept track. I know. Uh, games are getting outrageously costly. I was lucky enough that I just shared that I just was able to buy a TurboGrafx-16 game. I know. And then for, you got... For, for less than 60. You got <laughs> Turrican. This one's in a repro box. It's an author. It's a legitimate game. And from retro collector i'm going to get the manual for it so at least it's complete even though it's not complete here thanks dubs this one is in a repro a repro case but i actually do have the real one it's just not in as good as condition and since it is old i put it over here but this is the original manual i do have the original box for it and this is an original game it's just since it's old and expensive i didn't want to keep it out so but the other one, that's all 100% real because uh, that was not actually the one I had when I was a child. I was a dumbass and sold it and then bought a shitty copy and then bought a better one. So so I don't have Streets of Rage 3. I have two copies of two. One's not for sale. One's a decent looking copy. And then uh, obviously I have the first one. Yeah. Stubbs is pointing out that, and I'm actually going to highlight it here. So... Yeah, it was actually called the Mega Drive. Mega Everywhere. Drive. The only reason it was called Genesis here is because somebody else had the copyright for, Me for Mega Drive in the United States. Correct. So otherwise, it would have been called that too. But Genesis was such an interesting name for the system because um, it was the beginning of a brand new generation of the console wars. So it was kind of cool in that regard. So regarding uh, Streets of Rage 4, have you played it much? Actually, yes, I'm up to level seven. I'm trying to remember where it ends. Uh, I it I don't know either. Uh, I'm actually playing as Cherry because she had the guitar. Oh, Cherry, I yeah, I, I was like, hey, I'm going with the chick with the guitar. So she is the only one in that game that can run. She oh, is really? Adam's daughter. Okay, Adam was the was one of the characters from the first game who wasn't in any of the subsequent games. He was rescued in number two. He wasn't in number three. And he is in this one, and you can unlock him. I think he's actually the first unlockable. He is. I just I did unlock him already. Yeah, he was always one of my favorite characters. You're welcome, Stubbs. Happy to help. So anyway, 
Yeah, he was always my, one of my favorite characters. He was a little slower than Axel, but Axel couldn't jump as high. And this one, Axel's just a beast. I mean, he's really bulky. And I joked in my review of it. I said, uh, it, looks like yeah. a- it looks like Axel uh, took some steroids and Blaze got a boob job. So I don't know if you know wrestling, but he looks like Lex Luger from back in the day from WCW when he was. I do not. <laughs> it, he, he went from being a buff guy to like massive overnight. Anyway, so any, what are your thoughts on, on the whole thing? I know that you did your little video. You talked about My it. little video. Your so, little video. I've got no personal gripe with limited run. Um, I know people may think that the way I type on Twitter. But I have no personal gripe with them. It's just not for me. And I say that now owning two separate products. So in addition to Streets of Rage, I did a video a long time ago on this box. Torok, the one and two. Now, I still have it in this condition. Oh, you can't even see it. Yeah, I can. I yeah, there you go. I still have it in this condition because at some point I'm probably going to sell it. What number is that, by the way? Because I asked you about your Switch. What number was your Switch game to? Because that's the only thing I feel that's limited is that your oh no, they are numbered. numbered. They are numbered. So where do you see that? It was on. It's on the back of the game of the um, real case. Okay, so the one that Switch case a game. So here's Turok. Yeah, that's Turok two. And where does it say the number? It should be on the back of the game itself. I'm pulling out my Switch game. Oh, I see. 43 and 44. Okay. So they're pretty low in this one. And yeah, then so I'll take a look at the other one in a second. For Streets of Rage, mine's 65 on the on the Switch. I don't know what my Genesis, uh, or I shouldn't say Genesis, but my um, PS4 one is. Let me look at mine. You did ask. So the, the metallic tin is a nice added bonus. I, I really, quite frankly, I don't care about them at all. Um, I'm like that. I bought the one with blood stain that had the same thing, and I don't use that one either. So let's see. Here's my. Switch I personally game. just rather had the tin case than 65. The so yours is 65 as well. Yeah, it's the game. It's not the. Yeah. It's not the run of them. Oh, okay. That's what I was trying to understand what the number was. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing it's nothing spectacular. So, and then my card is 60. I mean, these cards are pretty cool. I got to be honest, they are kind of cool, but are they worth the money? That's where I, I come down to it. Cost I just wish benefit. they were different. I I do. I wish the cards were different. Because that would make me feel like, hey, this is something that's limited depending on what system you bought it for, depending what um when you bought it, you would get maybe a different card. I understand everything costs money, and I know what's going on in the world. But that would have just been a little extra. If you got this far, you probably like the video. Well, how about checking out some of these other ones? And if you like them too, please subscribe. Have a good one.